So leave emotions. Emotions is for babies. Emo- yes, it's, it's not for everybody. How can my daughter be emotional? And then me to I'll come and be emotional. Marriage is a seed. That is like this. Put in a soil. I'm going to give it time to grow. I'll water it. I'll check over it. And it will sprout. I'll be excited. How can I have prayer topics before marriage? Enter marriage again and prayer topics will continue. It changes to praise report. It doesn't continue with prayer topics. How can I pray to get married? And then I got married again every day. My leg I didn't know he's like this. Your sensitivity was very low. See, sensitivity is a product of spirituality. So if you're not sensitive, you're not spiritual. Stop telling me that your wife is bad. You're telling me your sensitivity level at the time you got married to her. You're telling me how you heard God. You're telling me what God said to you. Open your eyes. Stop looking at the bum bum. Stop looking at the breast. Stop looking at the legs. The eyes that look are common, but the eyes that see are rare. Stop looking. See. Get off the looking level and see. When you look, you're going to see to the right, to the left, to the. That's what you see. And ladies, because you know they look, don't make them look because you will only end up at in his eyes, not his heart. The way he saw it, he's also going to look at other people. So don't attract him with the rise and fall of a breast without tight bra. Don't attract him. Because he will look. Oga, you will not have accident because somebody is walking on the road. Look. You will not be confused because somebody is by your corner. Look and continue where you're going. Don't attract his eyes. Go for his heart. And what gets to the heart is attitude. What goes to the heart is spirituality. What goes to the heart is the you in you. Not the container. Because no matter how beautiful the container is, it's for the trash. It's for the dustbin. We're not looking for the container. We're looking for the liquid content only. Go for the content. Don't go for the... This is why we're going to have a lot of problems in marriage tomorrow. Because they know this. A young man told me, Pastor Choma, when a lady has long hair and she's walking and she does the hair this way and talk, Oh, Pastor. Pastor Choma. He had a triple hair. I want you to imagine... Imagine that kind of marriage. What will happen? Since ordinary hair trips him. Fake one, man. Fake one, not even original. Fake, oh, God bless you plenty. Fake one. Another person's hair. Maybe a dead woman. And that is what is tripping a man. I love, I love this girl. Honestly, the way she cuts words. Others are looking for those who are human walking. You're looking for cat walking. When you eventually bring a cat into the house and she behaves like one, you're pleading the blood. It no go work. Because you saw a cat and you brought her. I want you to listen. Choose names. That is good. Prophetic names. Powerful names. Names that mean something. Mean, n- names that bring about life. Marriage is not a 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. job. No, that's for the teachers. They only transfer knowledge. They don't impart lives. Marriage is destiny. Marriage is the, is the relationship between Elijah and Elisha. Even when Elisha said I wanted double portion. As the whirlwind of heaven came. Oga was still going up. With the double portion. He didn't cry. He didn't say he's a wicked man. Upon all I did for him. So you're going up. His eyes were still up. The next thing he shouted was my father. My father. So it was a father son relationship. It wasn't a boss and a master relationship. That was what came out of his mouth. My father, my father. So all this wine, my papa, 
Because if it's your father, it's not going to get you angry. If it's your father, you get angry, you still remain. If it's your father, it's your home. You are here to build it. You are here to stay and not to easily be um, um, irritated over very little things. Please know that to build stronger marriage, number one, be spiritual. Have spiritual intimacy with your partner and your children. I'm not talking about physical intimacy now. I'm talking about spiritual. So that means, nemo that word, non habit. You can give what you don't have. It's only what you have that you transfer. So I use spiritual. For me to have spirit, my daughter is here. She's over there. She just turned 11. She became a speaker at five years or six. My first American phone, she destroyed it. And I was so angry. But I didn't know what this girl was doing. She would take my phone and enter the restroom. My name is Eli Bezim. I'm back in the studio again. Today I want to talk about container and content. I want to tell you something. Please let your eyes be five years. By the time we discovered it was what she was doing, I couldn't operate on the phone again. America, they locked it. So I couldn't open it. So I let her. And she started. So one day, I wanted to pray. I called her. I said, Ella, come, let's pray. She joined me. After 30 minutes, she said, Mommy, it's like you're getting tired. If you're tired, you can go and sleep. I want to continue. At age eight, my leggy, leggy, leggy. I turned and I started looking at her. Did that come out from her mouth? One day she came, I have a school, and she was at my school. She came one day, and she said, Mom, why is it that you just speak to people, and it comes to pass? Look at how you told Uloma, she's going to get married. And then marriage came, a man came, even with the pimples on her face. She still got married. Okay, Mommy, now I know what the man wanted. The man was not looking at the physical. He wasn't looking at the container. He was looking at the content. I said, God, I thank you that the way the, I am intentional in allowing her, she's 11, to Follow me when I go out. I'm intentional. Have spiritual intimacy with your partner, with your children. Honey, what was that that happened? I don't know. I just feel pain. Come, come, please. Mazila gada la gada. The very first person that comes to your mind when there is an attack is your God. Let me say it again. The very first person that comes to your mind when there is a problem is your God. If you remember God immediately, you say, come, come. Whatever it is, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. So maybe, honey, you can see a doctor. You know what you've done? You've handed him over to God before man. So by the time he appears before man, man is not confused because divinity has already gone ahead of time. Have spiritual intimacy with your children. There's a difference between a teacher and a father. Don't trust how can you get angry every day. You carry your child's book. I don't know whether you do it. If you don't do it, don't do it again. You go to their school. You taught my child the wrong thing. My child failed. He came tent instead of because we are taking away position. That's why we have graduates who cannot speak English anymore. I don't want position. Do me average. Nobody did that to you when you were in school. That positive competition was needed so that you can come up. But today, we water them down and we say it's civilization. No, we are killing the next generation. Did you hear about the election in secondary school where they were choosing head boy and head girl? The parents of the boy came and was giving 10, 10, and Naira to all the class members, head boy in secondary school. And these are the future leaders of tomorrow. So is corruption ending or is it going to another dimension? Head boy in secondary school. The mother came to show people that the husband gets money. So she was in the bus and she was trying to bribe all the class members with 10,000 10, Naira. What will those children use 10,000 Naira to do? Mothers of today. You have nowadays children because you're living in nowadays. You're nowadays parents. That's why we have nowadays children. And they will give us nowadays wahala. Be spiritual with your relationship, with your son, with your children. Be spiritual. You can impart information to someone and they can miss the, the mark. How many of us went to university? 
What did you study the first time? I have six academic degrees. First degree was linguistics. Ask me how many languages I speak today. I switched over to PGDE in education. Third one was master's in education. Fourth one was PhD in guidance and counseling. Fifth one was second master's in peace resolution and conflict management. The sixth is Harvard. Which of them am I using now? The grace degree. <laughs> 